Good evening, it's Joyful Hermit. <clears throat> I was outside this evening, uh, late afternoon, uh, trying to get some a little bit of black bark off the end of my pickup truck. First time I've really been out trying to do some manual labor, and along came a woman walking her dog. She stopped, and we started conversing, and somehow the, I brought up the topic of adult uh, child estrangement, which I've mentioned before in a video that is sort of taking over the country of young adults, Gen X, Gen Z, millennials, or whatever. Um, there's 25 to 29% of these adult children. It has become a trend of estranging from their parents criticizing them, um, taking offense, feeling they were entitled to more as children and and uh, thinking that their parents didn't provide enough or whatever. And uh, so this woman uh, was talking about it. I talked about it, brought it up, and, and she <clears throat> was one who was um, sort of thinking that uh, and talked about her home and her three young adult children and how their home is very open and welcoming. And she even brought up unconditional love, that she tries to love people unconditionally. So a um, little further into the conversation uh, uh, came up. She um, was feeling that a lot of these adult children had reason to be cutting their parents off, that they had had, were mistreated and misunderstood and not accepted or given too much responsibility at an early age. In other words, the parents really weren't that good of parents. And as we continue to talk a little more, because I said no from what I have researched of this phenomenon, this trend, and from my own experience as a parent and, and the perceptions that have altered over the years to uh, one of my children has cut me off totally. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that it isn't that these are good parents, that these weren't abusers or um, did terrible things to their children or denied them. And not but just a few minutes later, as we were talking, she got a phone message. She, she finally did mention that she had had a terrible uh, verbal upset with her daughter last night. And during right then, she got a call from her daughter. She uh, said, I need to get home and talk this over with my husband. And as she turned off her phone, um, I said, I'll pray for you that this works out. Because I said, a lot of these adult children are just cutting off their parents. She said, my daughter just did. She doesn't want to talk to me ever again. I said, I'll be praying for you. I'm so sorry. And I think... God gave me another word to add after live. Pray, love, forgive, live our lives as God wants us to. Try to understand how God wants us to live our lives. Not keep trying to hang on living partly our children's lives or thinking we are going to. We never know the day nor the hour of when something like this will happen. And we can think it would never be us. We were wonderful parents. We had an open home or whatever. Um, and then it happens. So the word I'm adding on for me is humility. I must live my life that God has given me for whatever time left, humbly. And knowing that God is my guide and I am nothing 
to God's all. And he will determine, he will give me the crosses he wants me to carry or the people that he wants me to talk with. It was no coincidence that this woman walked by and stopped, slowed and stopped, and wanted to talk. And I even told her about this way of living now, of perceiving as of being essentially dead, that I am essentially dead and um, am as if on the other side and observing and viewing people on earth, including my adult children, through what bits I can find on social media or whatever, or if one happens to call and um, a friend mentioned when it's needed, when I'm needed for something. Otherwise, there's not a call. But I don't mind, whatever. I'm grateful. I, I praise God in, in and out of season. But um, I must live in humility always because that's the only way to live if we are trying to live our lives as God wills and for God, omnia pro Deo, live all for God, all for God. So please pray for this woman and her husband and for the daughter who, in the course of our conversation in my drive tonight, called and left this tragic but I suppose not unexpected message. Social media is having a lot to do with encouraging this age group, encouraging each other to cut their ties with their parents. The devil is behind it, trying to destroy the generational family. And it's been going on for a while of older people I have a, a, a niece's husband who's maybe 53 or 54 whose job was cut. He was in the mortgage, uh, mortgage banker. And with the, the housing dropping off, and he's had over 400 interviews. He's been runner-up many times, but he, it's been six or seven months, and he just sent out another 40 applications. Older 54, <laughs> and I have know someone who's 45 and persecuted for ageism in a sport, uh, It's there's no um, respect for a few gray hairs anymore or for the wisdom or experience. This Anissa's husband has even told them, go ahead and hire, you know, if you would hire me, I would accept the pay that you would pay someone in the entry level. He just wants to work, and he wants to share his expertise in a different area of banking. He's not in the same groove he was in before because of the housing crisis, the housing market falling. He knows that they aren't hiring in that. They're let, that's how he got let go. But um, we need to pray about this situation in our country. And um, and it will spread to other countries if it hasn't already. Um, but it's a terrible thing to grieve children, adult children, who are alive and living. But they have, as if died, removed themselves by their own choice from their parents. And there are um, videos online of people, parents, lovely people, not perfect, none of us are, but who um, describe the situation and the phases they've gone through of being dropped and alienated. I call it as it is, it's rejection. Anyway, I just wanted to share that God reaches into our lives 
in unexpected ways and times. And uh, that's what happened to me this evening. God reached in and brought this woman to stop at my drive. And uh, all this transpired right within our conversation, including her talking about unconditional love, of which I had just done a video with my expression of um, of that also. So um, we can un she unconditionally loves her daughter. She can't make her daughter unconditionally love her. So um, God bless his real presence in us. May God soothe the broken hearts tonight all over the world in whatever situations they've been broken. Let us love as God loves. Learn to love as God loves.